is Linda. Linda! An absolute legend of trading. She's a professional trader who has worked for several hedge funds and even started her own hedge fund in 2002. And did I mention she made all of her millions using one specific strategy? I underestimated you. Yeah, well, maybe next time you will estimate me. Well, I was interested in little Linda, and I wanted to find how she became so successful with her trading. So I did what I usually do and did some digging. I scavenged the internet for days trying to find the exact strategy she uses to make her millions. And let's just say, after hours of digging, I finally found it. She has a strategy called the anti-setup, and Linda uses the MACD as her main component for her trades. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, here we go again. Another MACD video. But Linda uses it in a way I've never seen it used ever before. See, Linda changed the default settings of it. She even took out the histogram completely. And she follows a bizarre rule set that completely changes the way you will look at the MACD. Forever. And I'm about to share it all with you right now. Let's get straight to it. So Linda calls this strategy the anti-setup, meaning she's trying to find the reversal point of a trend at a major pullback point and profiting from the massive move after the pullback. Let me paint a broad picture of what we're looking for. Linda would look for a downwards move that's starting to correct like this. Once it starts to correct, it would do a move like this, where price would start heading in the opposite direction, creating a pullback. Once she found this setup, she would follow her specific rule set in order to find perfect entries for the specific play, where she would profit from this beautiful correction. And how she finds the specific move is purely with the MACD. So let's add it to our chart. To do this, go to TradingView. If you don't yet have it, I'll leave a link in my description. Go to the Indicators tab and type in MACD. Click this one right here. Now, when you first add the indicator to your chart, the settings of it will be these default settings. <laughs> While doing my spying on Linda, I noticed she completely changed these numbers to best suit her strategy. So let's do the same. Go to the settings of the MACD. You're gonna change the fast length to three, the slow length to 10, and the MACD length to 16. And then you're gonna wanna uncheck the histogram. You also wanna make sure the average type is set to simple. I'm also gonna change the colors of the lines for simplicity sake. I'm gonna make the MACD line red and the signal line yellow. Our indicator is now set up and it's looking good. Now, this strategy will work for all markets and all time frames. So let's pick a random stop. Okay. AMD it is. We'll use the one hour time frame for this example. So for these examples, we'll be looking for long trades. Now, like I was saying before, Linda uses the MACD in a way I've never seen used before. And she follows a very, very specific set of rules to find these setups. But before we go over that, let me show you the site called Fintura. Fintura is a Forex and crypto broker, but damn, it's a good one at that. First of all, they don't have KYC requirement, which is nice, so you can sign up up literally if you're anywhere in the world. Even if you're on an island with a volleyball, you can use Fintura. They also have extremely low commissions and spreads, so you're not wasting money like you would with a normal broker. And to top it all off, they have a 100% deposit bonus. All you have to do is use the link in my description, and if it's your first time signing up, they will match what ever you first deposit. Yeah, I know, it's literally free money. Go create an account with them if you trade crypto or Forex, and at the very least, get the deposit bonus and see if you like it. Okay, back to the video. So like I was saying before, Linda uses a very specific set of rules to find these setups. The first rule is you need the MACD line to make a new high. So here on this chart, the MACD's previous high was right here. So in order for us to even consider this trade, the MACD line, the red line must go above this level right here just like this. That is step one complete. Step two, we want the signal line, the yellow line, to move in the direction we are looking to trade. So in this example, we are looking for a long trade, so we want the signal line to be moving upwards just like it is here. That is step two, 
complete. Step three is we want the MACD line to revert back to the signal line and we want them both to be moving in the opposite direction. Since we are looking for pullback trades, this discrepancy in the lines is showing signs that the market is hesitant from this downwards move. Or in other words, there's a lot of buying power coming in, which is exactly what we're looking for when trying to find pullback trades like this one. So here, when the market is doing this pullback, both the MACD line and the signal line cross and start to head in different directions, which gives us the signal to enter the trade. Now, while doing my research, Linda didn't say how she uses her stop loss and take profits. So I had to do a little of my own testing. What I found is that if you place your stop loss right below the low of the move and your take profit at the previous high, it works a great percentage of the time. And just as you see here, it worked out beautifully. Here's another long example on Microsoft. We see a big downwards move. We then look for the MACD line to make a new high from the previous high. We then look for the signal line to slope in the upwards direction, which it does. Then finally, we wait for the MACD line to revert back to the signal line. We then make sure they both start to head in the opposite direction. Once all of this happens, we set our stop loss right below the recent low and set our take profit at the recent high. And boom, another profitable trade. Here's a short example. We see a big upwards move. We then look for the MACD line to make a new low from the previous low, which it does. We then look for the signal line to be sloping downwards this time, which it does. Then finally, we wait for the MACD line to revert back to the signal line, which it does. We then make sure they both start to head in the opposite direction, which they do. Once all of this happens, set your stop loss at the recent high, then set your take profit at the recent low, then yet again, we get another perfect trade. I also posted this exact same a and trade that I went over in this video in my premium Discord to all of my subscribers before I enter. In this Discord, I show all of my entries and exits for all of my trades. We also have other professional trading analysts who share all of their entries, exits, and analysis as well. And it's not just stocks, we have analysts for everything. Stocks, crypto, forex, and even options. All of our analysts are proven to be profitable and we keep track of all their statistics and share them with you on a monthly basis. If you wanna follow along with all of my trades or any of the other professional analysts, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really do think Linda's strategy has some great potential. Try it out for yourself and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.